the refraction through a prism. This is how a prism looks like. It is a solid with five plane surfaces. So you will see that it has two triangular surfaces, this one and this one. And apart from that, you will see this is a square surface, another that is square surface, and this one, the third square surface. So you will see that a prism will have three surfaces which are square and two surfaces which will be equilateral triangles. Now why do I say equilateral triangles? Because all these sides are equal. And this angle will be 60 degrees, this will be 60 degrees and this will be 60 degrees. Now if I keep this prism like this on the base, then this becomes the angle of the prism and this one, this becomes the refracting edge. When it is kept on the base, this is how it looks. And this one over here, this is the angle of the prism. This surface and this surface, they become the refracting surfaces and the third square surface becomes the base of the prism. So when we are talking about the refraction in prism, then we have the ray entering this surface. It will get refracted through the body of the prism and then it will emerge from here, from this surface. So we will have the refraction taking place in this surface where the ray of light, which is monochromatic ray of light, which means a ray of light of single color, will enter this surface of the prism will get refracted at this surface over here which is the air glass boundary and then it will get refracted here and then it will emerge from here that's the time it is going from denser medium into the rarer medium okay and so you will see because of the two refractions we will see how the total refraction takes place and how the ray gets deviated. Now let us see with a ray diagram. So we will see that when we keep the prism over here this becomes the outline of the prism. This will be the refracting surface here. This will be the second refracting surface over here and this A becomes the angle of the prism. Here we see incident ray and this becomes the normal and now we are going to see the incident ray going from the rarer medium into the denser medium. So instead of going in this direction it will bend and that will be bending towards the normal. Why? Because it is going from rarer medium into the denser medium. So you will see the prism will have this surface being the refracting surface and the refraction in prism takes place here at this surface. This is the first surface. Now it has now bent and it is traveling through the prism, the body of the prism and now it strikes the surface which is separating denser medium into rarer medium. This is glass and this is air. So now again this ray will get bent and it will go away from the normal. So you will see that the ray of light when it is emerging it is going towards the base here. So incident ray turns towards the base in the first surface and towards the base in the second surface. Now if you produce this ray backwards, you will see the original ray was having this direction. But the final ray is having this direction. So now the original direction and the final direction, you will see the angle of deviation out here. This is called the angle of deviation when the refraction takes place through the prism. Now if you look at the laser which is providing the monochromatic ray of light that is light of single color, it is incident on the side of the prism. This represents the incident ray. When the ray strikes the first surface of the prism, part of this light gets reflected. So you will see the reflected ray and major part of it gets refracted. Can you see the emergent ray? Can you see the original direction of the incident ray? And can you see now the final direction of the emergent ray? 
hasn't it rotated through an angle hasn't it deviated through an angle so that is how we get angle of deviation and that is how we understand the refraction through a prism now if you found this video helpful share it with your friends comment like and subscribe thank you for watching